The next step here is economic development, and certainly that vote was heard by a lot of folks across the state, and among them business owners here in what is now called Kingston Village, and my colleague Sadie Hughes had a chance to talk to some of those folks, no doubt watching that vote very carefully. And, you know, it goes without saying, they were pretty unhappy today, but Tiffany, while they were disappointed, they certainly weren't de defeated. Popoli, a building block. You can actually see downtown. It is just a great location. The restaurant's grand opening last night was just part of this area's rebirth. Fred, Timco, and I started this project before the casino was even announced, and we still, we still feel very optimistic about the future of Kingston Village. Gary Rosek's development group is making a more than eight and a half million dollar investment in Kingston Village. It includes Popoli, four floors of converted commercial office space in the old bank building, and a six-story condominium complex. He was also one of the original 22 investors on the Cedar Rapids Casino project. I feel sorry for the entire community of Cedar Rapids and especially the people that put all the effort and work into the project. I'm disappointed for Sea Rapids as a whole. I think that we could have really used the revenue to like improve the city. But Shauna Salter with Fix Salon says they've been here five years and they aren't going anywhere. We're excited to have our new neighbors cross the street and went over there last night and checked out. It's great. Love in the area. And that neighbor couldn't agree more. <laughs> this whole area is going through a lot of redevelopment, so I think it's going to thrive no matter what. But it would have been a great thing to have the casino. No vote today, Tiffany. Rosex says that things will certainly develop a little more slowly down here, but he also adds that the city has four building agreements with four different buildings down here, and that's in addition to the more than $8.5 million that his firm is already investing in the Kingston Village. So, room for growth stuff. Oh, really? Still a city of yes, even after that. Thanks so much, Sadie.